Today we're going to show you how to convert an image or a photo into a synthesizer saw lead sound. First we open up our image and we want to crop it down to the important part of the image that we want to use. So we want to convert it to grayscale, which is very important. We do not want to save it as a color image. And then adjust the contrast a little bit. That ought about do it. And now we need to do a little bit of math. Um, we want to tune this to C4, so that's going to be 261.63 hertz, which is going to be important for setting the width of the image when we export it. Well, we want to divide the sample rate by this number. So 44.1 kilohertz divided by 261.63 hertz. And we're going to end up with 168.55865. So anyway, just round it down to 168. So set the width to 168. Uh, the height, not really important. That affects the duration of the sound. So you might want to adjust that. And now we want to export this image as a grayscale Photoshop RAW file. Make sure to set it as RAW. Don't want to have a header in the file. So now export it, hit OK, and OK again. And now we want to open up Audacity or an audio editor that supports importing raw data. Make sure to import as raw data. Don't try to open the file directly. And open the file and make sure that it's an 8-bit unsigned PCM file, no Indian. And make sure it's 44.1 kilohertz sample rate. Very important. Make sure it's tuned correctly. All right. So that sounds about how it should. Tune to the key of C. Go ahead and export it as a 16-bit normal WAV file so that you can import it into your sampler or your synthesizer. And I'm not really going to go into too much detail on how to import because each synth or sampler is different. Okay, and there you go. Now I use Sample Tank mostly for a uh, sampler type synth. And here's the import screen that I use. It's uh, very picky with the nomenclature of the files for importing as sounds. So it's a little tricky. Uh, but that's the gist of how you do that. Now to really get a good sound with this, you want to add some effects, uh, especially some chorus and reverb uh, or delay, uh, like I have here. So this is about how it sounds. You may want to tweak the height of the image so that it lasts a little bit longer, and then your attack and uh, release uh, and all that, you want to adjust that within your synth once you've imported it.